Yo guys, what's going on? Cami here, doing a video on freaking designs on Photopea. You know, this website's freaking amazing if you don't have Photoshop, so I'd recommend using it. Uh, this is not a sponsor, by the way, so yeah, don't freak out. Okay, so we're going to start off with the really simple stuff. First, background, pretty simple. Um, you can do different stuff to the background, but I'd rather uh, just show you some of the stuff, what it does. Uh, bevel and emboss. Uh, I personally don't use this one, but there's certain situations that you would use it in, and um, this is not one of them, so I'll show you what it does, though. So yeah, it looks pretty ugly. It kind of makes it like stick out. Stroke. Um, I'll show you that on a PNG real quick, so I already got one. So we're just going to use this one. And you copy it, uh, and then paste it in here. Pretty simple. So, if you want to make it smaller, you could just drag these things make sure you don't like do this so it stretches it out because that's just gonna look bad so um, okay here we go we got them so now stroke basically an outline of different colors you could choose if you click this little color right here you could change it to whatever you like so you know you just go with like freaking green or whatever so here you go you can make the size bigger like I don't know whatever you want to do with it you can do it Blend mode, position, you don't have to worry about that stuff. I don't worry about that stuff. Unless you unless you want to or whatever, but inner shadow, basically it's just an inner shadow, so yeah, nothing that's actually like again like it, it's kinda cool because it looks like there's something like casting a shadow over him, so that's pretty cool. But uh inner glow. Um it's an inner glow, like the name. If you don't know what that means, it's kinda like stroke but it has a glowy effect to it like this see it kinda has that glowing effect too so it's, it's kinda cool um, I use it, I use outer glow more but whatever satin, I don't use this one too much um, it's okay, I don't know what it does really but color overlay, it's so simple just color overlay um, if you wanna make it to where it has that like tint red effect then just click this little blend mode, hit multiply and then there you go you can make it um, lighter, but here we go. Gradient. This one's really cool. I use this one like every design I do. So you can use this on text or here. And you can use all these effects on text, but this one is my favorite. So if we want to make him click this, multiply again, goes dark to white, you know. Um, or you can change the color to red, and then it's black to red. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Next one is a pattern overlay. You get to choose from these defaults, which are pretty trash, unless you get your own. So, so next one is outer glow. Same thing as inner glow, just outer edges of the whole thing. Drop shadow, cast a shadow from the PNG. So that's pretty simple. Um, I said it's pretty simple, like this whole video. So I'm gonna like not say that anymore. But um, yeah, I need to freaking edit a bunch of crap out because I'm saying the same thing over and over again. It's so freaking dumb. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, next we're going to be doing text. So, text, pretty simple. God, I just said it again. Alright, so we're going to be doing... T oh, I'm not going to edit that out, by the way. So, here we go. We got text. It's fairly easy. That's a better word for it. You know, typed it make the font bigger by clicking that button dragging it or you could just type it in there like this center it with this tool right here as you can move it around center it oh, I don't know where the center tool is on this thing but it's alright okay so um we're gonna make this look good I'll show you what I like to do alright so gradient move the scale up a little bit just to make that like like that you can kinda tell it goes from that to that so 165 is good. Move this box right over here, which makes the white overpower the black. Um, so now you want to do a stroke, which is what I like to do anyway. See, it looks pretty nice, but you can also add inner glow. Make that white. Make the opacity higher. Make sure your blend mode's on normal and all the text, because it's going to be on screen, so you're going to have to change it. The screen does not look very good on this. Okay, so you're gonna make the spread bigger. I kind of just estimate, I don't really make it exact. Move that, see, look at that, it looks even better. 
you can make the stroke thinner or make it two. There we go. So now looks like that. If you want it to like have a outer glow of black or whatever, you can do this. Boom. There we go. See, that's all right. You don't want it too thick though. Gosh, all these references are so bad. Okay, there we go. There's the text. So once you get to this point, oh no, you can use the brush tool also. I'll show you what that does. So click it, change the hardness down all the way, change the size to whatever color right here. What do you want it to be? And you can do this. Wow, freaking fake. So if you like, wow, what the frick? All right, let's pretend that never happened because that was, I don't know what the heck that was. That was, get out of my screen. Okay, so usually it works, but I guess that time it doesn't. This website can be pretty glitchy, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, so yeah, once you get to this point, you can file, save for web, hit save, name the file, and you're good. Or you could save as a PSD. Um, if you want me to make a more in-depth video, then, uh, you know, just tell me, like the video, whatever. And, um, yeah. So uh, I guess that's it. I'll see you later. Peace out.